Good morning students. Welcome to the learning of English. Today we are going to do one more worksheet from your real English course book. This is worksheet number six. You are supposed to watch all the videos covered by Vaishali ma'am and me. This will help you revise all the chapters for your terminal examinations. So you need to take out your real English textbook and we will take one more chapter for our revision. Today we will take up chapter number three, The Wolf and the House Dog. It is a very short chapter but is very meaningful. The moral of the story is very meaningful. Now this story is about a wolf and a house dog. There is this wolf in the story who is very weak and very thin and he lives in the woods. He is thin because he doesn't get food to eat a lot. And this is because the dogs in the village do not leave out any food for him. They eat up everything. So when the wolf comes inside the village, they don't get anything to eat. So the wolf started becoming very thin and thin day by day. And he was feeling very sad and depressed about it and wanted a solution for it. So one night when he was passing by from the woods in the village, he met this house dog. Now house dog is a dog who is a pet in someone's house. Now this house dog was wandering a little too far from home. The wolf would have eaten this house dog very happily, but the house dog looked very strong strong enough to fight back against the wolf and injure him. So he skipped the thought of eating the dog. The wolf spoke very humbly with the dog and complimented him that he was looking very fine in his appearance. The house dog said that even he can be the same if he leaves the wood and comes and stays inside the village. If he does so, he will not have to fight for small bits of food and he can follow the example of the house dog. So the wolf was curious to know what was the solution. So the house dog said, that he just had to chase people who carry canes, he had to bark at the beggars and he had to fawn on the people of the house. If he did so, in return, he would get all sorts of tits and bits like chicken bones, meat, sugar, cake and many other items to eat. He will also receive kind words and pats and strokes and hugs. So the wolf started to imagine this and while imagining he felt so happy that he started to weep. But just then while he was doing so he noticed that there was some mark on the dog's neck. The skin had shaft. There were scratches on his neck. So he asked the, the house dog that what were these marks, these scratched marks about. So the dog replied that it was just not important. The wolf insisted to know what it was exactly. So the dog said that he is tied with a collar around his neck and tied with the chain. So sometimes due to the collar and the chain, 
these marks happen on his neck the wolf was surprised to know that the house dog was tied in chains and that he was never allowed to go wherever he wished the wolf was not happy to know this he thought that for him liberty is much important than tying down to the chains so he told the house dog that he doesn't want feasts and he doesn't want any tender young lambs he just want freedom freedom to move anywhere he wishes to and for food he does not want to give up his freedom so he ran away back in the woods as he did not like the idea of the house dog so this was the quick recap of the story the wolf and the house dog now let us take up the revision question answers question number 1 why did the wolf get very little to eat the wolf got very little to eat because the dogs of the village were always wide awake and watchful how did the wolf look the wolf looked very thin what made him upset his thin body made him feel very upset and sad what happened when the with the wolf one night one night the wolf happened to meet a fine house dog What was the house dog doing? The house dog was wandering a little far away from house. What was the wolf thinking to do? The wolf was going to eat the house dog there and then. Why did he not eat the house dog? He did not eat the house dog because he was stronger than the wolf and could fight back leaving him with hurtful marks. Instead of eating the house dog, what did the wolf do? The wolf spoke very humbly with the dog and complimented him on his fine appearance. Why did the house dog want the wolf to leave the woods? The house dog wanted the wolf to leave the woods because he lived there unhappily and unfed he had to fight hard to get food what example did the house dog want the wolf to follow the house dog wanted the wolf to follow his example to chase people who carry canes bark at beggars and fawn on the people of the house what will the wolf get in return the wolf in return will get small pieces of chicken bones choice bits of meat sugar cake and much more along 
with kind words and caresses. The wolf and the house dog talking with each other in the garden. Listening to this, <clears throat> why did the wolf weep? The wolf wept because after listening to the house dog, he had a beautiful vision of happiness. What did the wolf notice while talking with the house dog? The wolf noticed that the hair on the house dog's neck was worn and the skin was shaft. What did the wolf ask the house dog? The wolf asked the house dog what had happened on his neck. What was the house dog's reply? The house dog replied that it was just a trifle. What was the mark on house dog's neck? The mark on the house dog's neck was of the collar to which his chain was tied. Was the house dog allowed to go wherever he pleases? No. The house dog was not always allowed to go wherever he pleased. The wolf did not like the idea of the house dog. Why? The wolf did not like the idea of the house dog because he felt that freedom was more important to him than all the feasts and tender lambs in the world. Where did the wolf go? The wolf ran back in the woods. What is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is about the ideas of democracy and freedom. It teaches us the value of freedom and self-satisfaction. So this was the quick recap of the chapter, The Wolf and the House Dog. We recapped the story and went through one line short question answers. You need to write these question answers in your rough book so you can revise them for your terminals. Thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe to the channel on the YouTube and follow the playlist. Best of luck for your terminals.